YouTube, what is up with you? This is Nail Goodfella, Goodfella Nail. Follow me on Twitter at Nail Goodfella, man. <sighs> Just came off a of vacation, my first weekend, uh, my first vacation of this year, really. Um, you know, took the fam out, you know, had a good time, relaxed and all that. Um, if it might be a slight inconsistency with the way I'm posting my videos, it's probably because I got like vacations lined up like this whole uh, this whole like we every weekend so it's like three weekends straight I'm gonna be on like vacation so some of these videos might be archived or whatever but you get my drift I'm gonna try to look out for y'all have some videos out or whatever um, but I'm making this main video uh, this is a discussion yes I'm definitely feeling some kind of way on this man uh, what do y'all think about that cigar and champagne pack Jordan 7 I think the price is like 270 after tax or something like that. Not so much of the price is really the problem. It's the thing. Um, now, the, when they did it on the sixes, that was cool. You know, I understand that. First championship, light up the cigar, drink the champagne. But let's not just pigeonhole Jordan to, you know, to, to making that what's all he's about. Uh, for the most part, at best, those shoes are okay. But really, they weak. And I'm going to tell you why. But I'm going to get into the good part, though. I don't have them or anything, so, you know, you could just turn this video off if you think I'm doing a pickup on that shit. Not really. Because they're okay. They're not even that good looking. And maybe it's just a matter of opinion. But it's my opinion. And, of course, you know, that shit going to fly over here. <laughs> but anyway, I, I do like the maroon one. I'm definitely a fan of like maroon, burgundy, and all that. And they, they tried to turn up a little bit with a gum bottom. And um, I just they I just feel like they about to wear that theme out. Just kind of like how the galaxy thing and everything was like space light like two, three years ago or whatever. You know, kind of run it down to the ground. So let's just move on from the cigar and champagne stuff. No, I'm not butthurt, you know what I mean, about wanting to get it, then didn't get it, nothing like that. I didn't even have no intentions of even getting that uh, kick, even when I first seen it. But, what I, it's like, the only thing they could have kept, uh, they should have kept on the, you know, on the 7, just give me a basic 7, and let me just color black it for y'all. I'm, I'm about to do that right fucking, well, I'm about to, sorry for curse, but I'm about to do that right now. Keep the, keep the little ring up, and I'm about to use this Olympic 7 as an example. Now, so much happened in that year that, you know, only thing you could just do for this man is cigar and the, and the champagne. Like I said, that was cool for the first, uh, the first go-round, you know, with the sixes because it's first championship, blah, blah, blah. But this man went to Barcelona that year. And some of y'all might say, oh, well, they got the Barcelona nights, Barcelona days, all that crap. Whatever. Okay. I kind of get where you're coming from. But if y'all, you might as well turn up with some Bulls colors because that's what he was definitely, you know, obviously that's what he's known for. So my idea, my thinking, my color black are preferably, you see where this white is on this shoe, on this seven? With the exception of the midsole down here. These panels right here and this panel, they should have just like made like red. I had this thought out. It shouldn't be leather. It should not be leather. It should be like a long hair suede new buck or something like that. Um, yeah. It should be red. Y'all might, if they came out, they would have probably called them the Toro Red. I mean, the Toro 7s. Make this red. Make this area like black and just like have it be like a new buck like this where the silver is up here. You know, make that black or something. You can still put the gold tips on there, you know. Then, um, you know, just to symbolize like that royalty, like he was with the bulls and he got a ring with the with the bulls and stuff. Put the little uh, ring at the top, you know, like how you did actually doing the cigar and champagne uh, releases that you put out. You know, um, of course, put the heels in the mountains, you know. It would have been smooth. And then you put black on the midsole and had a nice red new buck color right there. You know, they probably would have been calling it the Bread 7, but, you know, definitely would have been a fire shoe. Um, I'm not about to go too in-depth, but you kind of get my gist of where I'm coming from as far as, like, the colorway and all that. They should have put, they should have, 
got a little bit more creative with that if you ask me and that's why it's whack to me because it's like I think people don't just pick that up because it was limited and then they just want to flip it more some more problems than this reselling shit I'm telling you that's why they picked it up I bet you nobody wouldn't have picked it up they wouldn't have disappeared as fast if they was general release and the hilarious thing is that'd be funny if they just dropped that uh, you know like a month from now and be like general release and you see and I'm talking about the the cigar seven and the champagne sevens if they make a general release and they're not limited and they like for 190 I how much you want I'll, I'll let you do the thinking man do you think people pick up on that because I don't think they would I think eventually it would sell out but it'll take like months I wouldn't be surprised if it go down 10 or 20 dollars good example even though these these plant these basketball shoes is on a different level uh, the crazy eight Kobe they didn't sell out uh, real fast they came out with a burgundy one and it has a gum bottom you can look it up and everything it's a crazy eight Adidas Kobe with the burgundy upper burgundy leather upper and a gum bottom I still I seen those around for like 70 80 dollars or something like you could probably still find those for like less than a hundred dollars so that just proves my point. So it's not like some favorite color. It'd be different. It was like red. Everybody crazy about red. Include myself. But do y'all think that shoe would have sat? Would have sat on shelves if it wasn't limited in it, if it wasn't limited and uh, you know. Obviously for a general release, they ain't gonna charge no 270 unless it's like 2050. <laughs> but um Yeah, let me hear y'all thoughts about that or whoever. But that's what I think. I think that shit is whack. First off, you need to come up with some more creative colors for the seven. For the just drop the whole cigar champagne bullshit and just, you know, we could do a championship. I understand championships gonna come around regardless in every sport. You do the championship sevens and you make the championship sevens and that's it. You know what I mean? Switch the switch the theme up, man. Sometimes y'all run this stuff down to the ground. I know it's corporate and all that. And if they was like, you know, I guess you they, they gotta wait and see numbers go down before they change their mind. But I'm thinking ahead. So st please stay tuned, though, man. Um, I got some new pickups uh, to show you guys. And my graphic T-shirts is almost done, man. I'm telling you, I'm very serious about this creative stuff, man. I got two of them, uh, two designs done already. But I'm, I want to do three more. I want to at least go five, minimum three, if I just, it depends on how I'm feeling, man. I want to keep y'all all day. And let me hear y'all thoughts on that, man. As far as like, I'm going to reiterate again about that seven, that champion cigars, cigar and champagne shit. Let me know what y'all think, man, in the comments below. Um, I don't think that shit would have flew. I don't think that it's just because it's limited and, you know, basically that's it. You drop them, like general release, they will not sell that fast. I'm not butthurt. I warn you again. And that's it. Rate, comment, and subscribe if you want. Follow me at Nail Goodfella. And I am the realest. Best believe that, man. I'm going to tell you the damn truth. Though, and remember, man, don't just stock the kicks. Rock the kicks. And last but not least, let that joint breathe. I ain't going to even turn up today. Peace.